uh, energy energy transition is something which should achieve a goal of redu reducing emissions, not of kicking out one type of fuel or another type of fuel or some countries from the market. Uh, as soon as uh, this starts happening, then that will basically derail the whole process. And in the end, it will be the consumers, European consumers, um, and consumers in other countries who pay the price. So with these energy transition risks of the Russian oil and gas that you mentioned, does the Russian government target fast monetization of its oil and gas reserves? And what does the Russian government plan to do to keep its production, oil production competitive? Well, we, uh, we, we, I mean, have been studying this question for quite some time. I mean, as you can see, uh, our resource base allows us to be flexible in terms of production and remain competitive at the same time. Uh, and I mean, of course, talking about the current price environment, uh, this price environment is favorable for corporates and for producers of oil and gas. But at the same time, we are conducting our analysis and we're conducting our research and making our decisions based on a significantly lower price band, uh, which we be where we believe equilibrium can be maintained. So uh, looking at uh, looking at a price range of uh, 45 to maybe 60 dollars. Does Russia have spare capacity? I mean, uh, oil production capacity, how big is it and how fast uh, can those volumes be brought online? Well, this I mean, uh, it's our spare capacity is different, uh, is different to spare capacity in the Gulf countries. So we uh, because we have a significantly bigger number of active wells. Uh, and inactive wells and significantly lower well flows. Uh, our approach to basically this topic uh, somewhat varies. And um, what has to be said is that, um, in accordance with what has been decided, voluntarily decided at the OPEC Plus um, at the OPEC Plus meetings, all countries are increasing their production at a combined rate of 400,000 barrels per day. Uh, which um, is afterwards distributed between participants pro rata. And uh, we have all the necessary capacity to fully fulfill uh, these obligations, well, I would say obligations, to fully fulfill these plans and to fully meet these uh, targets. Is Russia able to increase the gas supplies to Europe? In essence, does Russia have extra gas in the pipeline capacity at the moment? This uh, this is a topic which uh, has been touched yesterday, and uh, president said uh, president said basically that uh, Russia will continue to be a reliable supplier and will continue talking with uh, all its customers and partners uh, to be able to 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 satisfy their demands uh, as per available capacity. You know, so that's uh, a lot of this is a commercial topic. But you have all seen the statements made yesterday, and I think they clearly speak of Russia's desire to uh, to do what can be done. Prices for energy, uh, which exceed reasonable levels, uh, they affect demand, and uh, they affect demand, and they affect the ability of uh, uh, consumers to plan their business, to plan their strategy, and that's of course something which uh, is not good. And that's why you know through cooperation between countries and through cooperation between corporates from different geographical areas. We believe that uh, the market can be more predictable and uh, basically less volatile.